Governor Murphy said the upcoming approval of vaccines for kids under five was one of the reasons he felt comfortable lifting a mask mandate in schools and daycares starting on March 7th. But an FDA advisory panel postponed a meeting originally set for tomorrow to discuss Pfizer's vaccine for that age group. The company has now decided to delay its application while it waits for more data on whether a third dose is effective. That means this youngest age group will have to wait until April at the earliest to get their shots. Meanwhile, the CDC on Friday released new data showing protections from boosters begins to wane after four months. Will there be an appetite for more shots? Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. Did you just get a booster? Yes, I did. And it's a no-brainer for Daquan Cedeno, who got his third shot at Bergen Newbridge. Across New Jersey, roughly 2.9 million people have gotten a booster or third shot of COVID vaccine. But a new CDC study suggests boosters don't remain fully effective for very long. And that raises the question, should people consider getting a fourth COVID shot? I'm not excited about that, but we got to get a flu shot every year, so it's pretty much the same thing. We have been getting some requests for people asking for the fourth dose. CEO Deb Viscani says even though the CDC hasn't issued guidelines for another COVID booster, the overall science is pretty clear. As we know, uh, sometimes vaccines do wane over time. What about if someone comes in and says, okay, I'm older, I have underlying issues, can I get a fourth shot? Absolutely, yes, we are taking care of anyone that comes in and needs or, or needs or wants a fourth dose. The CDC study showed mRNA COVID vaccines remain 91% effective at preventing hospitalization two months after the shot, but only 78% effective after four months. Similarly, boosters are 87% effective at preventing trips to the ER or urgent care two months out, but that drops to 66% after four months. And while data is incomplete, results suggest booster efficacy plummets to 30 one percent after five months. The more doses you get, the stronger your immune response, the, the longer that it lasts. Dr. Martin Blazer notes that during the height of the Omicron surge, Israel authorized a fourth dose. There are data from Israel that four doses are better than three. And so now we have to assess, do we need that fourth dose or not because of what's going on? Again, with Omicron receding, the fourth dose it seems less important than it did two months ago. Federal officials haven't made recommendations about a second booster, but Rutgers Dean Perry Halkita says everyone should take steps to protect themselves. If there is no harm in a second booster, which it does not seem to be, then get in line and get it. While health experts consider an additional booster, parents must now wait longer to get kids under five vaccinated. The FDA postponed hearings on Pfizer's proposed two-dose regimen. We used lower doses in children than the adult vaccine doses. Researcher Cassandra Lewis is co-investigator of the Pfizer Kids vaccine trial at Rutgers. Initial results showed two doses didn't work quite as well for kids aged two to four years as they did for the younger children. So researchers expanded clinical trials to include three doses. But then Omicron surged. With the Omicron wave that started in December, we saw a steep increase in the number of children who were getting sick and even hospitalized. And that was initially a Think the push for the FDA and Pfizer to start the process for this EUA. But she says with Omicron cases plunging, the FDA decided not to fast track a two-shot regimen and instead refocused on its three-dose clinical trials. I think what it's telling us is that the FDA really is being very careful about trying to get the right dose for the right age at the right time. So that's a really important message. And I think one that is not getting enough play uh, in the media, that the FDA is doing its job and doing it well. I'll be patient, but I, I, I was really looking forward to it. Tara Vanderwall's two-year-old son is in daycare. She's eager to get him vaccinated as soon as possible. We've been lucky and fortunate that he's been safe and happy this whole time. Um, but you know, it would just be that extra layer of protection that would really make us sleep better at night. Governor Murphy had also cited Pfizer's vaccine for kids under five as another reason to drop the school mask mandate. This delay seems unlikely to change that. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.